Hi, this is Judy, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Layers feature in My Memories 5. I'm going to use the I Miss You pack with for, for this tutorial. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is just start adding some embellishments to my page, and I'm not going to worry about sizing them or positioning them. Um, I'm just going to add them to the page. And let's see, I'm going to add a frame. So there I've got quite a stack of embellishments and they're all on top of each other and you really can't see one from the other. And before when you did, when I would do something like that, I'd have to drag things around the page um, to try to find it or click on the top one and send it down a layer. And that can be really time consuming as I'm sure you know. Um, what the folks at My Memories have done is they've given us this new layers palette. So if I click on that, now I can see everything that's on my page in the order that it's layered. So at the top is this ribbon and it's on the very top of the stack on my page. And as I go down this list we can see there's the flower that's at the top and I've got seven layers. Um, so if I want to change the order of something in the, the layers and I don't want to have to move other things out of the way, I can just scroll down this list grab an item and drag it up to the level where I want it. So I'm going to put this, take it all the way up on top of the ribbon and there I've got my flower on top now. That is one way to do layers and as you can see if you get a lot of layers and you want to drag it's it's kind of cumbersome. It's really cool to be able to see just exactly where everything is, but it can be kind of cumbersome. If all you're doing is repositioning, you know, uh, moving things up and down the stack, um, you're better off to use the tool on the toolbar and that's this little icon with the L up on the toolbar and you can click that and, or do a control shift L and that gives you a a much uh, an abbreviated list of everything that's there and from here you can grab things um, like this flower on the bottom I can drag grab it drag it to the top now that's and you can see over here that it's been dragged to the top so this is this is a really nice way for relayering things and if I move this window over I can also see um, on the actual works workspace um, I can see things moving up and down. So that's uh, that's a really handy tool too. Where this sidebar tool comes in really well is if you want to resize or reposition something that's buried. Um, say I want to take this butterfly and I can't really get a hold of the butterfly because I've got other things while well, I can get a hold of it there but it's you know how things now I can't because it's got a flower on top of it so you know how it's really hard to get a hold of things that are underneath um, I can just come over here and double click and you do have to double click and now you can see that it's selected but it's, I still might have a hard time getting a hold of it because sometimes it'll um, like if I try to click right there uh, it grabbed the flower instead. That can be really frustrating. So double click here and then if I want to move it I can go over here and click edit and here's the coordinates and I know this might be intimidating for some people but it's it's really pretty simple. X is how far it is in it is from the left and Y is how far down it is from the top. So if I want to move that butterfly just out where I can get a hold of it um, without moving it to the top of the stack, I can just move it so it's one inch in from the edge and now I've got it. I can also do some real fine tuning um, but I, yeah, X, Y coordinates I'm not real good at um, but you can do all of your movement from, from this. You can also, if you've got something uh, at a lower level and you want to change the size of it. So I've got that butterfly, I want to make it smaller um, so I'm going to change it to two inches, hit enter, and there that's changed the size of it and I've never even had to touch it. Um, so that's what you can do with the embellishment settings. You can also, without touching the embellishment, and uh, which you've always been able to do, is 
if you want to put it at an angle. And you can either, either use this slider bar or you can change the number here. Sometimes I find it easier to change this number um, than use the slider bar. But all of this is available to you once you've double clicked, clicked your object over here. So if I've got any other things I want to um, change, like this ribbon, it looks awfully big. Um, I can change it or I can just bring it to the top. Oops. And that is really the beauty of layers. Um, you've got a lot of different options. Remember you've got this option so the, the in the gallery so that you can use here. This is the one that you want to use. This option is the one that you want to use if you want to manipulate the image. Um, if you want to just change your layers, use the layers palette up here and drag and drop and that will change your layers. So that is all I have to say about layers today.